Hi there. Um, just this is just a little update from uh, my previous uh, video, and um, I thought I'd just let you let you see. I hope uh, it's not too bright. I noticed on the other video it was a bit glary. Um, anyway, um, I've disconnected the um, the threading system and um, uh, it was a bit tedious um, it took quite a while uh, because I had to wind this back by wind the thread back by hand um, but I can I can tell you that the little Sureline motor is um, is capable of uh, the threading a three quarter at least a three quarter sixteen thread um, uh, I don't know what else I can tell you that I had a, it, it seemed to me that um, uh, I had to go a bit deeper to get the nut to screw on nicely there's a little bit of play at the front it gets a bit tighter as it goes up towards the back and I think that that could possibly be because my tool bit was not exactly square on uh, when it was cutting the thread like I said I didn't have I can't, I can't find my gauge anywhere I, I spent a couple of hours looking for it and um, so it may be that the the uh, the tool was not quite right on. Um, anyway, it went okay, um, and it seems to me that there was uh, a few things that I need to do. And one is instead of making instead of making a uh, the thread with a clearance on the on the um, uh, on the um, the core diameter at each end um, I need to leave the thread longer so that I can go back and get the thing the carriage running on the lead screw on this lead screw um, before it actually makes contact with the job um, I didn't have enough room there's a you can see there's a, a bit of uh, movement as it first starts to start cutting the thread at the at the front end there you can you can tell it, it kind of it, it kind of touches the front face and then it it moves in like laterally this way um, and it could be because of the the master and the and the nut uh, some slack in there probably a bit of flex here as well um, this way but uh, it's really not bad um, I'll take it out and I'll show you the finish it's only aluminium so it was it was relatively easy um, but uh, I hope you can see that there. Uh, there's the thread. Maybe I'm a bit too close. There's the thread there. And here's a, a standard nut. And I notice that when the nut is on, when it, the nut is, on, is threaded on, when you revolve it, the nut is, the face is wobbling uh, so obviously the thread is not square with the the outside of the uh, or the face of the nut uh, but this is definitely square there's no doubt about that there's no wobble going to take place on that thread 
and if I was to screw cut a nut I would think probably it will run nice and true. Anyway I haven't tried this in maybe I should do I'll try it in the chuck uh, maybe the three jaw three jaw chuck and uh, there's a bit of slack there but as it goes towards the end Uh, it's tightening up that uh, yeah it gets nice a nice fit there so there's a little bit of a taper on on the core I guess but um there you go that's about it um, it works it needs some it needs a little bit of playing around to uh, improve the action that it uh, produces but on the whole um, I've got a tape that will cut us a thread a single point thread so I don't know what else I can tell you um, that I guess I'll do a few things with this um, I don't know I don't know how uh, uh, Keith Brooks is uh, 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 accessory worked, how good it was, uh, if he had the same problems, um, but uh, that would be interesting to see, see him cut a, a thread on his life. And uh, I'd be interested to see that. I have no comparison that I can compare mine or the, the problems that I've had with problems other people have had with a different, different style, almost identical but different layout. Um, that's about it. It's about all I can tell you. I'll get this video up on the uh, YouTube and uh, if you like it give us a give us a shout and uh, any comments fine uh, I'm kind of uh, happy with it at the moment it's it's gone it's gone pretty good uh, so there you go Okay, I'm going to call off. I've had enough for today, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye.